Good morning, my beauties. It's your girl, Tiffany Michelle, aka Timeless Maverick, back at it. And today I am going to take you through this two-tone jewel look. And as you can see, it's just vibrant and playful and just so nice and happy. So stay tuned and I will be right back. As you can see, I already got my face done and my eyebrows done. So I won't walk you through all the steps, but I will definitely leave what I used in the description so you could go ahead and check it out. And let's just dump, uh, dump. <laughs> let's just dive right in to this look. I don't know what it is. It's like really blue and gloomy out. So I think that's maybe what inspired me to do this look. It is so crazy because we've had so many storms come through and like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm happy it's not, you know, sweltering hot, but I miss like being able to go out and do my, my walks outside, but it is what it is. So I'm in my cozy little um, sweatshirt over here by Juicy Couture and just chilling out for a little bit. So thank you for joining me. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Just go ahead and boop boop. Palette that we're going to use today is by Morph or Morphe, however you say it. And it is Blue Ya Away 18 Alpha. I guess that's the n numeric number of the palette, okay? So let's see how we're going to go ahead and do this. I think we'll just start in with a nice light base. I'll show you the colors in the palette. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I can't. Like, there you go. So as you can see, there's lots of, like, um, beautiful blue hues. And you have your dark, rich blues. And then you have the nice glitters. You also have some black and navies in there. Some grays. And then a couple of... Just nice browns and neutrals that you can work into it so you can do a mix of everything. I love that. I love having, you know, a nice wide variety in one palette so, like, you don't have to grab multiple palettes, like, when you're traveling or whatever. Um, this is way too big of a palette for me to be traveling with, but, you know, some for some people, this is <laughs> a small palette to be traveling with. So, anyway, but that is, like, something, the nice versatility of it and the colors. So we're just going to go ahead and I think I'm just going to go ahead and use this nice light blue color, which is this one over here. And that's what we're going to do it's just to start like our base down. I wish they had actual colors on the pan. I believe some of them had plastic that had the colors on it, but like who's going to keep that? I'm just taking like this little fluffy angle brush and I'm just going to go ahead and get that blue down. All over my lid. So one thing that I noticed, even though like I blew out the excess and there was like a lot of fallout even afterwards. Um, I really don't care because it's like a really cheap palette and so far the colors are pretty good, very pigmented so that doesn't really bother me off of fallout but you just want to be mindful, make sure like if you're going to work, you don't have like your, your dressy clothes on or maybe put something over it so like you're not getting stuff all over your nice work clothes or your fancy clothing. These colors are actually super workable and nice to work with. Your girl knows that she needs to go ahead and get her eyebrows done one of these days and her nails and her hair. That's coming soon, trust me. I, I know, I'm looking crazy. And I definitely want to go much lighter. It's crazy because it's winter and usually like this is the time where like people go darker with their hair color. But I've been noticing like a lot of people going blonde and as you can see at the end, my hair was at one point uh, blonde, but it just, <clears throat> I didn't keep it up and I, I just miss it so much. It just made my face look so fresh. So now I'm going to take this brush, which is more like a little taper end, and I am going to go in with, uh, this is when it gets uh, confusion, confusing. So if I should use this palette or my MAC Simpsons one, oh my goodness, I don't know. I think I want to use this one. I think this is what we're gonna go with just because like I like those purples I mean the purple and the the blue and that's like one of my biggest fears is like whenever I use blue eyeshadows I always get like nervous I'm gonna end up looking like Mimi from the Drew Carey show I'm just gonna do it so I'm just gonna go in with the deeper blue 
And this was a Max Simpsons palette. They obviously don't make this one no more because it's like a special edition. And it's probably like so old. It's not even funny. It's got nothing left to say And I was like, eh, 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 eh. Oh, 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 oh. You were like, eh, eh, eh. Okay, I'm kind of like really happy that I went with this like blue because it's looking like so beautiful on my lids. Beehive blue. And then this purple is um, <laughs> sexy peanut butter and jelly. Or PB&J. For our cheeks today, I'm just going to do something very um, muted. And this one is called Blush Baby by MAC. And I actually have it in the Pro Palette. So it's this top one up here. And it's just going to give us a little bit of a flush. So come on, let's just clip a little Blush Baby on those cheeks. For lips, we're gonna go in super purple. I'm gonna go in with MAC Heroin Lip Liner first. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the Kat Von D LUV lipstick. And it's a purple, as you can see, like I said, we're doing purple lips. Okay, my beauty, so I popped on some mascara, and obviously you can see because it just makes my eyes pop. pop. So, but it's also a very, like, just fun look. I'm loving my little pigtail. So, as you can see, there was not much to it. It was a very easy look, but it's also very fun, and I just feel, like, so, like, spunky and punky. Like, I just feel like I'm extra sassy now, so I love that. Um, I'll give you a little close-up so you can see. Now the only thing is I did use the Simpsons eyeshadow palette which I probably got like five, seven years ago. You really should not be using eyeshadow palettes for that long. However, it's a powder so I don't really care. Um, yeah, since it's a powder I really don't care. But if it was like something liquidy or something you had to dip your fingers in, I would not recommend using it because it could be bacterial you could get sick so don't do it but for eyeshadows mm, most people do use eyeshadows for much much longer than they're really intended to with no major side effects but you know just use common sense when exercising that like if it looks gross if it's discolored throw it out simple so yes thank you for making it all the way to the end of my video i hope this look has inspired you to go ahead and play in those palettes and Play with those colors and just find something fun to do for the day. And remember just to take care of yourselves. So if you did like this video and you want to see more, make sure you go ahead and give me a thumbs up and you subscribe. I have lots more looks coming up. And I also wanted to do some Amazon hauls and stuff for like clothing and earrings and fun stuff like that. So let me know if you'd be interested in those kind of videos because I do shop on Amazon a lot. In fact, I do have a bunch of stuff coming in for Halloween that I think will be so adorable and I hope you guys enjoy it. So thank you again my beauties for making it all the way to the end of my channel until next time Mwah.